Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get to work. <laughs> There's an insane amount of stuff that we need to do, so I can't wait to get started. I would like to kick off today's episode with going to the Herbology class and basically make sure we finish that main quest. Beautiful entrance. Looks like we're already in a glass house. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! I saw this in the trailer and I was so impressed by the design. Revelio. Just gonna see if we can Revelio some stuff. Oh, there's a flu thing here. I've always said that travel oh, broadens the let's mind. collect these Dittany leaves. Very useful. Okay, so we're gonna be able to grow our own plants in here, I assume. Should we go in here or is this still locked? That's those, both of those are locked. We could go further down. Oh my god, look at this! It's so beautiful! I actually really think all the swirly elements really suit that vine feeling, if that makes sense. Oh god, you guys have no idea how much my designer <laughs> heart is singing right now. Okay, I think we should do the class first and then start exploring. We could wait, or we could quickly explore. Let's go collect some of these things. So, Mallow Sweet Leaves. There was a chest here, I think. Flux Sweet Stem. Unbeatable Quidditch Gloves. These are funky. What are they? More Dittany Leaves and Mallow Sweet Leaves. Revelio. Nice! Found another field guide page. Dirigible plums. This orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Cool. I kind of want to try one. This is locked as well. We will find our way into these doors finally, guys. I feel like we just need to learn Alohomora. Okay, I think we've collected everything in this room we could possibly collect. So let's quickly check out this note. Dear Professor Garlic, what a name. Garlic? How very thoughtful of you. And to remember, strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. And no, it's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tut tutelage. I don't know how to pronounce that. Lenora so adores ye, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everly. I love reading these letters. They just add that little bit of spice, you know? All right, let's wait for the main quest. I'm getting sidetracked again. <laughs> okay. Everyone's here. Natty's here. Sebastian's here. Some more people that we haven't met yet. But I'm sure we will. Alright, let's meet the professor. Or let's start the quest. Oh, it's so beautiful! And she's so stunning! Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Look Lenora, at her! Dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Little cut to Sebastian. I see how it is. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? I was about to say, I've got mine First, ready. Let's protect our ears. I wonder who's going to faint. Who's going to be the nephew of this everyone, class? 
Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Okay, let's do it. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy! I feel like she could have given those instructions beforehand. But you know, that's just me. <laughs> the soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Thank you. Oh my god, she's so stunning. Look at her. She seems so sweet. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You Let's can go all speak get to started. Her. I need to have a brief word. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. I quite I like it. Hippogriffs. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I actually, guys, I have a feeling he might be a baddie. I'm not gonna lie. Not as in like a, a thought baddie. As in like, maybe not that good of a guy. Morally. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Taking my socks off. <laughs> Full comfort. Um, I enjoyed it. Actually, Nearly went I deaf as well. It. I couldn't help but catch her enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I can't wait to start doing this. Let's so we can plant whatever how we to need. Balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or rose. Dittany's restorative properties make it a I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Alright, let's see if we can pop this. Interact. So, um, select available seeds to pl begin planting. Once the seeds have been planted, the plant will take time to grow before being ready to harvest. So we have some Disney. And that will be ready in nine minutes. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. That's good to Well know. done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're I will in the do. Greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see oh, me when you're finished. Oh, we can make some finished. new friends. Oh, That's good. And mind your fingers. They do bite. Thank you for the heads up. Probably needed that. All right, let's go meet our classmate. Hello. Saw hey. you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Hi. I'll be showing you, you the can Chinese look at me. chomping okay. cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Okay. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh, thank Excuse you. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place. My Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. I wonder why I seem so uncomfortable around him. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just but they mind bite. your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Do you want to help? Mouse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. 
Cool. Good to know. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. I'm going to take all of these. Might as well. Take all of them. There we go. Um, so I have to... Hold L1 and then tap R to the wheel tool. Ah, okay. Look at that. That's Interesting. Get there. Sorry, I was trying to figure out Mom's if I was doing on. the right thing. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. But then, how do we get it again? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah, I guess they come in handy. I was imagining it already. Hmm. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. Nice it's diplomatic answer. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed so and funny. Death Cap has Imagine. more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Can you imagine? Take your time. I'll see you back in class. When you're about to like fight someone and then you just throw a cabbage at them. <laughs> Take this cabbage! And All right, we made it back. Reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Tara, did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? If you're wearing something, yes. Let's quickly go check on our plants. Still got five minutes left. So let's go speak to Professor Garlic. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. Should probably wear gloves, you're right. As you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I. Plants offer so much. Don't care much for plants. No, I do. Magical I grow plants, plants in my own garden. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Thank you very much. I loved meeting her. I think I'm going to love her apology. <clears throat> Sorry, just lost my voice. Relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. Got four minutes left, so I think we should just keep going. Oh, what's this? I didn't even realize there was this dungeon-like thing behind here. Keep exploring, keep finding new places. Whoa. Search the chest. And got some dollar dollar bills. Revelia. This is so cool, by the way. Look at this. God, the design of every single place just keeps surprising me. I keep getting surprised by new stuff. I'm just shocked by how much they put into this. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to jump in, but you know. All right, let's see, what quest can we do next? We've got potions class. Actually, hmm, I'm kind of wondering if we want to do potions first, because then we've done multiple classes, we can brew potions, we can get ready for fights, and then we can start doing the other ones. Okay, yeah, no, let's, let's go do a potions class first. Um, just oh, guys come on I'm a Ravenclaw like you should know this by now I love studying well not necessarily studying I just love learning that's the thing I love learning I'm curious about things I just want to learn as much as I can about this universe all right let's go into potions class the students are already gossiping I'm gonna go read some chests Wiganwell potion. There's also a letter. Memorandum. 
Date 31st of December 1875. From Aurora Office. Subject Borgen and Bergs. Borgen and Bergs has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we're adding more Aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are among these new additions further instructions to follow okay so um professor sharp is a or that's quite cool very 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 cool um we've seen a lot of this in harry potter itself you can go visit this particular set actually in the harry potter studios in london or leafson i guess watford oh it was a page i thought i heard one professor sharp's aura badge auras compromise Auras comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura badge belongs to Professor Sharp. That's very cool! I hope they're gonna tell us about this. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Okay. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Okay. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize Very and even heal a one variety to learn this of one for sure. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before Thank today's you. class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay, are you gonna tell us how or are we just gonna get a book? A book. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please nice. be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Nice. God. I would 100% accidentally blow something up <laughs> if this was me. Nice. I feel like we're doing well in this class. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you. And from you. what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Oh, good Others, to know. however, Thank you. may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. It was skill, thank you very much. Professor Sharp said that Wigan Weld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. We have already. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Ah, oh, thank you. My Wigan Weld Potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. My Jay parents Pippins. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Aura. I wish he talked about it more. It's just funny, like, how often students actually should be kept home, but parents keep sending them to the school. I feel like Hogwarts goes through a lot. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan World potion. Mm -hmm, oh, I thank agree. you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan World potion on their first try. Well done. Thank you very much. I was relieved. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. 
Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. Gobbledygook! A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor God, Shaw so is many firm, classes. I love clever. it. See you soon, no <sighs> doubt. This might be like a class day where we check out different classes, actually. Um, cool, let's talk to some final Fine people. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Wild potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Oh my god, it's already so busy. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with all this. Probably shouldn't push you by accident. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Oh, he's a Weasley. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. I would find that very annoying. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I don't know I if I should be helping you with this. Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like something bad is going to happen because of the potion and then it'll track back to me. Then again, like, how would they know? I mean, I guess he might keep inventory. Or am I being like a goody good right now? Goody two shoes or whatever it's called. Fine, I'll get you the feather. I'll get you the Fwoopa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry but back to the But then why is he keeping it in his office? A well-prepared Okay, so we have Ashwinder eggs. Oh, got the feather. I feel like we shouldn't have done that, but whatever. And mongrel fur. It's very obvious that we took it, but whatever. Precision is key when brewing potions. Okay, let's give it to him. Here's the food for feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Ajurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Or maybe we can get another potion recipe out of this. Who knows? I'm just gonna, should I'm just gonna go with that. The didney or crush it. The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Oh God. Okay, let's um, let's brew this. Nice. Ajurus potion. We'll take and a few seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Oh no. I'm, Wait, I'm staying away. To... Ah! Uh oh. That was my fault. Uh oh. Well, there's loads of fireworks. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. I love that he's not even bothered. That'll he's just sat there at his desk. Again. Oh no, he might take our points because we took the feather. Did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh oh. Should I drink some? I could make this. I could make it. I'm gonna make it. I was, I was hoping it would give me some luck for the conversation that's about to happen. I knew I shouldn't have done this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I didn't know what he was gonna do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As Thank for you. the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say... First time meeting this well. guy as my I professor. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. 
and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay, I'll find a way. Thank you very much. I think each of us has had enough Felix excitement Felix. for one day. Class is dismissed. Cool. Got everything. Great. Finished our class. And I think that's everything in here. I don't think we can do anything else. Oh, Weasley! That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope You're Sharp welcome. wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me into trouble. Yeah, you did. But I'm not going to say that. Professor Sharp was we should annoyed, be making but friends. we sorted it out. We're new. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. It Shot was just Mason fireworks, gruff, it's harmless. But I bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Of course! Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Cool. Thank you very much. Greetings. I understand oh, hello. you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Interesting. I would love to talk to you about this. Also, I'm just quickly going to have a look and see if we can um, snoop around a little bit. Oh, we've been here already. Oh, okay. I'm wondering if we want to try the leak one. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. <gasps> oh my god, it's another Merlin one. I didn't even realize. I thought we selected the other one. Alright, let's see what is gonna grow. So I reckon this actually needs to go in there. Okay, let's see. Let's follow it, hopefully get it into the right place. Okay. Okay, it's going well. So far. Reminds me of Zelda. No, come back. Ugh. Yes. Yes. Let me open. Okay, no, that's not doing it. So I don't know bounce it too hard. What if I stand further away? Okay. Did that work? Proud. Nice. There's something else behind that. Um, but I'm really hoping this is going to increase our gear slots. Please, for the love of God, Merlin, help me. You girl's struggling. Put that on here. Not sure what that's supposed to do. Incendio. Okay, so that opened a secret cave. This looks intriguing. Am I ready to go in here? I feel like I should be using Lumos. One second. Revelio. I'm worried. Where are we? This looks like a secret hideout. Hello? Got some solar spectacles. There's nothing else in here. Slightly disappointing. I thought there'd be a little bit more for it being such a secret cave. All right, where did we have to dive in again? Grace, what is it you needed my help with? I was hoping you could dive down and retrieve a treasured family astrolabe lost during a doomed stargazing cruise. Is that a monster right there? What is that? I don't like that there's a monster in the water. This is silly. There's literal monsters. 
I should not be doing this. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. What the heck? This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay, let's go search. Please, nothing attack me. I'm just helping a student. Oh, God. Ooh, there's another cave there. Oh, no, that's the one we went into. Wiganwell potion. Oh, the astrolabe. Okay. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Let's do that. We'll come back. I don't trust it here. My curiosity almost got the better of me. But I'm not going to do it. Because I feel like... It'll just kill me. Next time you can do it, Grace. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. Oh. You know, I'm kind of tempted to ask you for a price. Because that was really dangerous. Fine, have it. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. That's alright. You all right. do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. So Thank no monsters. Again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Thank you very much. I got a mermaid mask. Um, I love it. Yay! Okay, so we have some side relationship quests, which is great. Okay, so for our challenges, we can claim this reward. Oh, and we can claim this one, a legendary cape. And this one. All right, let's go speak to Ollivander and see what he can tell us about his heirloom. <laughs> Curious. Hey, Ollivander. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Depends on what it is. Sounds intriguing. How will this benefit me? I suppose I could. But why should I spend my time on a glorified errand? It is much more than a glorified errand, to be sure. I dare say you'll find my proposal intriguing. Please, hear me out. You, you have see, my interest. About a century ago, an heirloom, Applewood Wand with a fairy wing core, went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Hmm. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. I can imagine. Peeves can be very, very difficult and will most of the time make your life more difficult. Why that wand? Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will Why is it ease special? the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. There must be something special about it that you're not telling me. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard that much about him after that. That is interesting information. But it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. Oh, 100%. Okay, why don't you continue searching the Owlery? Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. 
However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wandmaker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes. I get that. And a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. I get that so much because... You know when you, you've lost something and then your mum comes in and it suddenly appears out of nowhere into plain sight and she finds it? It'll be like this. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to yes. go on. Thank you very ah, much, Lagander. You've brought hope to this old one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Thank you for trusting me with this. Can I go in here? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. Have a lovely evening, my good sir. What did I just hear? Rebellion. Oh, I thought I heard something. Ollivander's wand shop. Wands of a, wands of a variety of woods and all manners of flexibility. Each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Ger Gerbold Ollivander. In, pro in the profession of wand craft since 382 before craft. That is crazy. BC. The Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. He must have so much knowledge. He must know so much. Oh, look at the castle by night. Beautiful. Okay, well, there we go. That's how we do it. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna um, get this chest. Dueling gloves. Ooh, and they are better than the ones we have on at the moment. There we go. They're cool. Our outfit is still all over the place, but I'm kind of living for it. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Let's use it. Okay, do we have to incendio these again? Did that work? Oh, there's more. Ha, we did it. Oh god. Saw some enemies on the map then. Nice. We did it. God, it's a bit worrying how close these enemies are to anything Hogwarts. Like, all the students are right here. I really hope we can go inside the Quidditch pitch at some point. <gasps> Should we go and have a look? I kind of want to go and have a look. I'm sorry. Hi, good evening. Oh, if Black hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing in Come the on. first place. Where are you? Revelius. You're saying it wrong. Ugh, Revelius. <laughs> Much better. Oh, shut up. Wait. Accio. Oh. He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff skin goes up his nose and snatches his brain. I want to join the Quidditch hobbies. team. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That would suit him. I want to be... Black was an Azkaban. I Part of this. The man has no soul to take. Besides, oh my God. Azkaban wouldn't suit Black. Not enough mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> I drew a word but never spoken. Oh my God, this is so cool. It's so fun that you can run around the Quidditch pitch. Revelia. Beast classroom? <gasps> I can't wait to explore this. Oh my god. I hope that class is up next. Oh, I really hope so. Oh my god, there's still so much left to do. I'm so happy by the fact that it just keeps going. Like, it's so rare to find something that does such justice to like a world you love. But my god. I mean, look at this. I'm just 
so 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 impressed by this game. Okay, we're by the Owlery. Rebellion. Very exciting. Let's grab these mushrooms. All right. Whenever I see the Owlery, all I can think about is that awkward date that um, Harry asked Cho on. <laughs> okay, we're at the Owlery. Let's go inside. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. All right, let's go up. Apparently, there has been a poo fest in here, according to one of the students who was talking about this in the corridor. I might have cut that out at some point. I'm not sure. Also, these poor owls. It must be so cold with these open windows. Don't mind me, owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? There's so many. Rebellion. There's so many owls and so many of them. I recognize those handles. Tiny. The summoning charm should do the trick. Empty perches could be the right size for jackdaws or statues of jackdaws. Ah, okay. Okay, interesting. Hmm. So we just have to pull I'd these out. I'd best keep looking. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna keep doing this until we have all of them. Here's a welcome surprise. Oh wait, first of all, Rebellion. let's quickly reveal all this and get this field guide page. Hogwarts owls, 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 owls. <laughs> School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Ooh, that's not nice. Okay, we've got everything in here. Let's do that. Let's climb up. Hmm. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Okay. Yeah. No statues here. No. Hey, buddy. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, there's something on the floor. Oh, I found the map. Okay, it's a treasure map. Hmm. And floating map. candles. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Levioso. Nice, found another field guide page. Um, let's accuse some of these. Pew, pew, hmm. pew. I'd best keep looking. Nice, another field guide page. Um, got all these, got all these. And these. Okay, I think we have all of them. So let's climb back down. And collect all these. Okay, um, let's place these back where they belong. What's happening? Something magical? Yells. Doesn't even yell. Oh. <laughs> Headless snake. Although you're fully he headless. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these wondering. years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? 
So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? That sounds horrible. Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, that's quite dark for a student. You stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I just want to help I don't him. really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? You're gonna forest? make me go into the Forbidden I'd Forest. I'd be happy to show you where to find them. It's my first, my third day, or second day, I think, in Hogwarts. How did you lose your head? I Do I want I to know guess this? how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Okay, slightly concerning. That's Why fine. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. That's kind of sad. And very dark. I mean, I know I shouldn't be surprised because this is Hogwarts and like, <laughs> students seem to die all the time. But, um, you know. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. All right, I'll see yes, you at the that's forest. that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. That's nice. I can't wait to see um, <clears throat> your decapitated skeleton. That's very dark. But whatever. And nice, we're level 12. Still don't know Alohomora though. So here's the thing. In order to complete this quest, we need to finish this um, Professor Hecut quest. Which means we have to dodge roll. Which also means we have to fight some enemies. Maybe we should do this quest? The goblin camp. Hi, Jalal. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Interesting. Actually, I do have some questions. <gasps> we can ask about gossip. Any whispers Tell me the going tea. about the town? Spill the tea. A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking travelling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Oh, yes, we're about to help one of them. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. Well, <laughs> watch me, a fifth year student. Which means he's once down in coral ruins. Um, who are you? Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. Thank My you. My price is a low enough already, oh. you see. Lol. Well, you know, it's a kind thought. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, and it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Amazing, thank you. I'm going to have a quick well, look at you your wares. Show me what, what you're can selling. What can I help you with today? A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by um, covering them with a dribble of rocky skin. 300 galleons? What the heck? Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Nah, this will be fine. I hope to see you again sometime. 
After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. What was that sound? That was concerning. Slightly scary. Oh, there's a bag here. Some gold, I'll take it. Oh, there's some bad guys around here. Beast, welcome! Avelia. What is this camp? Hebridian Black Scale. The Hebridian Black is a large dragon that can grow to over 9 meters in length. A large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Avelia. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. What are these? Oh, that's also a Merlin thing. I can be used for better things than this so-called patrol. Wait a moment. I'm a goblin, not a boy. Okay, nice. Oh, damn. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. What? Could it be a Merlin trial? Where are the others? Oh, here you are. Fuck it, L. Oh god. I need to dodge roll more. Why have you not run away? Intend to die, do you? I won't rest. Fuck. We're here to see this! It's not your suffering, do you? Levioso! Prepare! Pity! Not quite! There! Right, Rock won't be stopped! It's not quick enough! Levioso! <laughs> Ow! Fuck, I don't have any potions left. You won't survive this, my young friend! Yes! You've been paying attention in defense against the whole oh, time, bitch! Uh, uh, incendio! That was unexpected! Oh god, I'm about to die. I'm literally about to die. Oh god, I don't have any things left. No! Fuck, I just got my magic! Ooh, that's quite brutal. That's very brutal. I'll tell you that. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Okay, but I think there's more. Right? It says there's more. Why does it say there, there are more? Are they outside the camp? Is that why? Let me see. <laughs> Okay, he's gone. Huh. 
I wonder if we go up close to them, if we can steal their bows. Could we steal his bow? was quite something now to freon's carts okay that was quite scary um i'm also gonna get this trial going and let's see if we can loot the place i don't know it's a lot scarier to put it all in practice like in the real world maybe there's something we need to do with those ball things How many are there? An unequal amount. Let me also. Okay, so we put four in here. Or five, apparently. Okay, so those are in place. We need more of these. There's something in there. Oh, that's another Merlin thing. Okay, we've got the honeydew cart. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. Then oh again. Come with me, my darlings. And go in here. Nice. Okay, now we need a few more. They're in there. Incendio. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Come with me, please. Over here. Thank you very much. Oh. Nice. I think that should be the Merlin thing complete. It's so tricky after all. Yes. Perfect. Great, we did it guys. And now we need to return to Arn. That's a reminder though, I need to properly work on my combat skills. It's like a place right out of a storybook. All right, we've returned your carts. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. That's quite all right, don't you worry. It was no trouble. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. I love that. Sounds wonderful. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. That's quite all right. You're so kind. All right. Ooh, we got a goblin made helmet. Too. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Yeah, I would love to see. Now that we finished this quest and fought some people and did some dodge rolling, we can now learn Expelliarmus, which is a very important quest to, uh, quest, a very important spell, I can't talk, to um, learn. So let's quickly go over there and learn Expelliarmus, the spell that helped Harry Potter win against Voldemort. Hello, I'm back. Loving this music. She seems like such a great teacher. Never 
everyone seems so excited as well. Oh. Wholesome. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yes, I have. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Yes, please. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you Little might hint encounter. Towards the Voldemort. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Oh. Mess it up. Okay, let's try again. Nice. Expelliarmus! Good work. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is oh, it? I didn't think that... I thought this was something else. Did you attend Hogwarts? I wondered. Did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I Chatting am a proud to our professor. Ravenclaw House. Like you. I thought Why so, because you you're wearing so much blue. I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were... Uh, Amazing. ...students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. What does that mean? Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. So what does that an mean? Unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity. No, you've just moment. given me more you questions. Have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your I work. I love her. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. I'm assuming she's the head of our house? I love her. I aspire to be her. Quickly gonna um, add this new one. Uh, let's add it instead of Incendio. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Okay, let's try again. Expelliarmus! Nice. All right. Thank you. Cool. Okay, we've done that, which means we can start the main quest. I kind of want to do another side quest. I feel like we've done a lot of main quest stuff in this. Okay, maybe we should go find some gobstones just to like help the poor girl out because she's probably been missing them for ages. Okay, so normally one of the gobstones should be near here somewhere. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, I just saw one. It's right here. Thank you. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Nice. Just doing some exploring in the meantime because we haven't been here before. There's another one of these. Ah! Ah, this is so useful. This is what we needed. This is the key to everything. I was wondering why this didn't work. Okay, we need the equivalent to four, which is the little owl creature for the first one. So this should be an owl. Okay, and then this one is zero one. So we need a three and three. Three is the three-headed dragon. Um, okay. Three-headed dragon. Oh no, I went past it. 
three-headed dragon. Okay, please work. No! Oh. Ow. Okay, this, I think, is a code. <gasps> it worked! Hello! Christmas tree? There was a whole Christmas tree in there? Holy crap! Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. I'm gonna do some more snooping, because this is new. What is this? Is this like a secret classroom of some sort? There's more puzzles. Oh my god, so many puzzles! I love puzzles so much. They're so much fun. Okay, we need to get rid of one of these, I think. Classical school robe. Why can't we use this? Oh, because we're not the right level yet. That's why. Okay, that's fine. Open sesame. Hey. Ah, the writing by itself. I wonder who hangs out in this place. Oh, we found a statue. Rebellion. Gotcha. Quick maths. Oh my god, the gear slots are gonna drive me crazy. Oh, right there. Nice! Field guide page. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. Oh, so this is where Hermione hangs out. Though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon cows while nodding off at their desks. <laughs> Oh, it's fun that it takes you into like a secret space. Okay, let's keep going. All right, I guess we're climbing up. Not sure where this is taking us. Ah, divination. Take this field guide page, please. Paul Mystery Model. This standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Muduwa Onai. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as a deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We're thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Mathilda Weasley. So that must have been quite recent Rebellion. that she became a professor. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice. It's fun because these little side quests take you around um, the castle. It allows you to explore new places that you haven't seen before. Hi, fellow Ravenclaw. Okay, so one um, and spider to make 13. So we need four, which is owl. And then 13 plus dragon. 13 plus dragon to make 21. So for the weird little, weird little spidery creature. There you go. This should be it, I think. Yes. Nice. Medium constructed decoration. And some Quidditch gloves. Okay, let's go find... I'd better keep some. an eye on high oh, there places you go. around the school for some obvious cobblestones. Is there another one up here? Oh no, we need to go up. Let me see. I'll take your field page, please. Oh, we have to read it. Oh no, we don't. Um, how do we get up? This way. Where's the key going? Oh god, I'm- Oh no, 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 no! Run! We're losing the key! Oh god, did we lose the key? We might have lost a key. That looks Rebellion. like something you would fight. That huge. You're huge and I feel like you're gonna attack me. I don't know why. You have a field note. I'll take that one. Troll armor. 
This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll, I thought so. That it has survived at all is astonishing since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor when would understandably be prone to smashing it in <laughs> confusion or anger. I could totally see that. I've always said that the travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Um, actually, there was a gobstone up there. And then what is this? Is this the trophy room? Rebellion. Field note. A field guide page. The goblet of fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Triwizard Tournament since the contest's establishment in the late, late 13th century. Here it is, in its full glory. There's a drawing of this in my book actually, which is very fun. Oh. He can That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Yeah, but I want to snoop around now. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic. Oh, Professor Garlic. From mandrakes to mistletoe to bubble tubers to bouncing bulbs, her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations and now she works here? That is so wholesome. <laughs> There's something else in here that I'm missing. Another field guy page. This room contains a house cup, Quidditch trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. <laughs> like in the books. God, there's so much to do, you guys. I don't know how to stop playing. I need to go pack. Um, <laughs> I have to wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Why am I still playing? Oh, it's very nice. I like it. I'm gonna keep wearing it. I'm wearing all colors possible right now. This is great. I'm a mix of all of them. Revelio. Look, I page. House elf armor. The set of armor for a house elf is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize the armor could in fact be considered clothing. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. The moment the elf done that, he disapparated right out of it, never to be seen again. Another one. Revenia. God, there's so many around here. Centaur armor. This unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift was spurned and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. <laughs> Maybe it's a guy from Skyrim who took an arrow to the knee. The armor itself battered with hoof marks was later uh, recovered and refurbished. Cool armor though, but I feel like you'll just limit them. I don't think... I don't think centaurs would wear armor. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I found Hello, all Zenobia. of them for you, actually. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. <laughs> well. Which you don't have. <laughs> may I have my gobstones back? Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Sure, we'll Very see about well. that. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Have fun. Don't make people mad. All right, we completed the, guess the quest, you guys. Level 14. Right. On that note. I think it's time for me to end this episode <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this episode of hogwarts legacy i really hope you enjoyed it make sure that if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i can't wait to be back with more i can't wait to see where the story goes i feel like it's just gonna be never ending and i actually love that love that for me <laughs> have a lovely day guys and i'll see you soon bye